Hey guys, Taro here. Welcome back to another Toad Cheetah Lion Racing, episode number 99 here. And it's going to be something a bit different, because as you can see here, I'm in the 500 all on my own. And this is it, I'm showing you a lap of this track for what sh the lap should be done like, because the race that you're about to see afterwards, none of this happens. None of this has the chance to happen. And you've seen from the thumbnail what happened, so it's going to be a clean lap of the track. And also, we've seen we're in caves as well, and just do the 500 because. I, it, this race is set to compact, so I just thought I'll stick with this and then just do some laps to get one to record. So, a lap time is about a minute or so to actually get a good lap in. And then, including this part of the lap, this part of the lap is it's kind of like a technical show. I mean, it's round. I mean, what even part of the map is this? Like, what area would you call it? It sounds like some sort of like industrial thing. They get nice on there through the car park, and then, then you put the power down on the corner exit as well. And they're coming up to the finish line, what's that, a 50 second lap in a 3500, so the coupes will be faster than that as well, so yeah, that's actually quicker than I thought, but now the race you're about to see, it's quite different to uh, to uh, actually what happens here, you're going to see the first ones once again, so yeah, what you're about to see is, it, it's not fun, well it's, it's not fun for me anyway, hopefully it's actually uh, an entertaining race, yeah, this, this, I mean, even the switches here, this, this car is difficult enough to drive as it actually is on its own, regardless of actually, uh, whether or whether anything else is actually there with it. And then coming back down this straight, you, know, you can get into a good rhythm around this track, although I completely missed the braking zone there. A complete idiot, and then slam into the wall. And then running into this uh, kind of like hairpin section corners, when this ha one hairpin into another. And yeah, then, then round the final corner once again. And then coming finish line. Actually, this feels like a faster lap. It is just under 50 seconds there. Yeah, so just, just a random like five, six, seven laps of the race here just to uh, get one that actually uh, wanted to record. Actually, it's going to be quite the hard lap session because in editing, I thought I just recorded one lap of this race. I forgot to edit it out the other laps as well. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, well. Enjoy the uh, the laps of the track anyway. It's going to be like a real hot lap session here. I'll put it up in editing the time to skip to maybe if I remember to actually uh, when the actual race starts because yeah, I thought that, I thought it would have happened by now. Cause I, honestly, I just meant to copy over one lap of this race. But yeah, easy can actually. Uh, Appreciate what this happening. Oh, see, so yeah, one tire fire. I forgot the uh, the Fiat 500 does that. It's been uh, it's quite. What's this thing even called? Is it the Brozio RA? I, I think it is. Yeah, the Brozio RA. Look out to lap six. Do I actually remember to uh, stop the recording this for this lap? Yes, I do. Okay, well you've got a few extra laps there. But either way, now onto the actual race now. I swear I didn't do that just to make this video over ten minutes. Although that is a good idea. Yeah, either way, that's happened anyway. In the uh, the uh, the felon because. It's going to be a uh, horrific race anyway, so why not actually go for something swatty? There's been a crash there up in front already. There's a car facing the wrong way. There's a, there's a uh, well, actually, that's, that's a very bright that car. Then they find a way now to the inside. Let me get smashed on the inside. Actually, going to the, get in the second place. Then again, pull into the wall there by that other Zion, that yellow one. And just J Tang around the track. Hinged behind. behind. Okay, that was actually my fault. I just completely didn't look behind. But as you see from what's already happening, what was that? Yeah, the uh, what was that? The S620 just uh, barrel rolling over the uh, the barrier. I have no idea how the know. Okay, there's a car blocking the road. We just find find a way there of the inside line. Okay, there's a blue one. There's all over the road. We're going to go for a dive of the inside line. Just managed to get around there without tipping the apex. Actually, they're crashing behind anyway. So, I'm now into P4. How many people are in this race? There's about 10, 10, 11, I think. And the uh, lead car's here right in front of me. I don't know what assists are on, but I do know the host for this race is actually in it because this is the track that they made as well. So yeah, so they should have some pretty good track knowledge. Yeah, get all, get all that Ty Lopez knowledge. Not that he charges two thousand dollars for any of his courses or anything. It's all about the knowledge. That's how he made his money. Now it's a lap two or seven. So yeah, it's okay. It's set to a seven lap race. That's why it's seven laps for the uh, the mini. Yeah, the uh, the showing before. And someone's already left. The, the yellow car's into the wall. Uh, well, karma for you for taking me out and not waiting anyway. But uh, with what happened? I'm not expecting you to wait because you're not that kind of racer, are you? You know, the uh, the Fallon isn't actually that much slower, really, than the Zion we hit into the wall. No, we just managed to be there, so get some good car control around the corner. I don't know which... Oh, what's happened there? The power got gone flying on the wall. How, how have they done that? How have they just levitated? Have they, have they got Hollywood and Dead on their car? Just playing a bit of Hollywood and Dead levitate or something. You don't know, into second place, and the guy in the lead, I'm pretty sure isn't the uh, the, the race creator. I can't remember the, creator, the creator's name off by heart, but I know it's not the, the, uh, the name of the leader. That Zion, though, he does have the uh, the car advantage of being it has it has more traction, the straight line speed, and I think anything's 
negligible, really, doesn't it, really? Why is there a cactus? So, yeah, why is there a cactus in this uh, construction site? Surely it would have died from pollution, or... Actually, what is actually meant to be made in this construction site thing? Since you've got a load of wind turbines on the hill over there. And we're catching up to the design a little bit through the column. Well, we're not catching up on the exits, but... We are, over the course of the lap, we are catching. As, uh, uh, I thought I can fit a line around the outside. I mean, I think you could fit, but... You end up wrapping yourself really around the pole. Now, we're really catching up now to this Zion. And we're gaining on the back of it now. We're into this hair, hairpin section of the lap. And unless you're getting side-by-side into it, almost turning there too early. So, yeah, really uh, bottle bag that, didn't I? Yeah, I've done how many laps of this race already. I mean, it is about seven showing here. And this race happened before, so I've done... Well, I've done about three laps so far, but I've done so laps of this track. You think I know that by now. Now then, on to lap 4-7, then we've got to try and really close up now to that Zion. Okay, here comes the lap traffic. Here come all of the crashes. Now, the records got caught up, but now we're going to wait for them to get through, because I want to win the race, of course. But I don't want to take the lead from something like that, though. And we've got this purple going for around the outside. I'm going to break out and go for the switch. What I'm going to do exactly that. Slams house into the wall and make away now. We're inside line 2, because the they take each other out. Actually, that's really helpful for me. No, 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 I don't have to try and overtake him now. There's a blue guy again for a bit of trouble. And they're going to the inside, and then they just... They just Smash it against the apex. What are they doing? They find a way up the inside line here. What are they doing there? How do you get stuck there? I mean, the is that the Enos Windsor or something like that? It's a heavy car anyway. How has anything managed to turn that around? Either way, though, we're still in second place. Now we get past the other slidey boy. Going to go for around the outside line. Going to give him a wide line. Because they're going to do exactly that to take me out. And then we can go for a line up the inside line. And just give him a bit of revenge. Maybe just force him out of the way. Of course, our car is lighter. But we've got upgrades so we can carry more speed to push him out of the way. And you can't even see. The yeah, leading red sign up in front of us anymore. We've lost so much time in all of that now. We've only got three laps of the race left to do it. So, what's that? About two and a half minutes, maybe? Okay, though, we can't even, still can't even see them yet. We've got so much time. Okay, there's someone else there. It's like a crash. I haven't seen them already. So, I think actually, that's the car that started in front of me. One position in front. So, now try and go for the smooth then go for the outside line, break early. And you do the switch back line because, once again, they go way too late on the brakes. I don't know why it is. And I see when you do it 20, if you go on the inside line or outside line and it's break early, it will go for a massive dive and it never works out for it. And the blue cars there. Okay, they're trying now to do the, uh, the traditional roadblock thing where they just drive backwards and forwards and try to take you out as you come past. That's going to be something to uh, look out for for the uh, remaining two laps and three corners. Okay, there's the red car. The leader, so we are gaining back on them. So imagine they're having quite a few issues there with uh, the back, the back market in front of them. Now someone else has left the race. That could either work in our favour or not. There's one less car we have to deal with, but then it's also one less car that the leader of the race also has to deal with as well. So now then, through turn one, we get nuts on there. Still not going for the coast line yet. Cause not really pushing it to the max yet because that's going to be for the final lap of the race. Is that the same car again from last lap? Okay, no. That's the. Uh, there's. What is that car even called? I can't even remember, because it's just such a useless car. I find a dive against something, I'm going to force them out wide, they're getting aggressive, I mean, they're a bad market car, they shouldn't really be uh, just flying around the rich line, you just managed to get them back in wheels. In the front of my cars, it's seen better days, quite honestly. And Ryan's gone again, that's just been a crash out of the red car, and the lead, it is! The lead has been crashed out there by a back marker, which back marker is that? But, okay, we've got a lap and a bit now, we're back into the lead, but now we have to try and deal with, oh, it's that one. The brown one that caused the first crash of the race. In what, like three seconds of this race actually happening. And now then, I've got to try and overtake them. This is not going to be fun. They're going to try and pull that around the outside line. They're coming up now into town. I'm going to give them a nice wide line. And this can break early because then they're going to go for a dive on the inside line. And I know she did anyway too early. That was their own fault. But I'm going to go for a line here up the inside line. It must make a dive. Actually, they hit to the back of us now. And just keep hitting because they're into the wall. They're into the wall. Okay, that was completely their fault. And I'm going for a nice straight down there. But we lose the lead of the race now. It's all in this. Which of us gets past this back marker car first? He's going to win the race. Now, once again, he's just causing so many issues. They're getting off the road and they're back out. They go for three right over take on the inside line. He gets smashed out into the wall. Now, the red car retakes the lead with side by side. They're just about with the red car. They managed to get us on traction now because, of course, they're in a Zion. Now, then they've got the brown car once again. Of course, they avoid the car in the middle of the road and they smash the red car into the wall. Now, they side by side now with the brown cars. Give them a bit of a taste of remote and shut them out of the way. That could have gone so bad for me in hindsight. But at this time, I just did not care. I got the leader. It's got a bit of one tire fire as well into the corners. It's this thing, rear real, real wheel drive as well. So rear real wheel drive, one tire fire. That's uh, it's interesting. It's not something that happens all too often. And then coming up to the finish line, we're going to win this. Can I call this a race? Has this been a race? I'm not entirely sure what this was. I mean, it was horrific, whatever it was. But uh, yeah, this this guy's given up. Honestly, same. <laughs> I can't blame you for that. I'd have given up as well. If I was in a stock exemplar in a race like this, but honestly, with the race that happened, you could have probably ended up winning the race. Let's be honest here. Actually, let's, yes, let's go on board now with with someone else. Okay, this is going second to last place. It's the guy in the other purple giant Windsor thing. Is that what I can't? I don't even know what this car's called. You're level 62, but 
I can forgive you for taking me out, but at least you're trying. We didn't get fast lap, but what, that's three seconds off the fastest lap from, uh, from Jed. So actually, that's the creator of the race, Jed. So yeah, third on his own race, fastest lap, of course. I mean, it's not exactly the Bruffy 1322 way, because you need to be second place with fastest lap for that, but it's close enough. He's got to some uh, Tokyo Drift Life, I mean, is there a good way to drive this? I don't think it's, it's, it's literally just a boat on wheels, how heavy that thing is. I don't even know what the thing is called, like, again, like with the uh, the uh, other car earlier on. There's so many forgettable cars in this game now, because they're all useless. All you need is a Zion, really. You don't even need a Felon, because it's not the fastest thing. Yeah, so, so there's so many, there's like, what, there's got to be at least four, 500 cars in this game now, with how long it's been out, including all the bikes and that as well. And really, you only need like 10 or 12 for all the classes. Yeah, you need like one or two player class as well, so yeah. You don't need that many cars at all, and the count on time has come up. If this is their last lap, they might make it, being very, very uh, optimistic there about that. If, yeah, okay, okay. I've decided they're not going to make it as a slide as well. Can you make it past the blue car? At least they beat the blue one, at least they beat the other car of what's them, because I'm pretty sure that's the other car that's just waiting there. So now then, this was their last lap. I, mean, I hope it was, because they were close to making it. So, to, uh, fair play to them. Either way now, we're still going to order the finish around the final corner. You can try and cheat around there as well. That's not going to work for you. But anyway, we come away with the win. How much money did we get for that? 23k. For that race, I had to suffer 23k. That's pretty good. So if you enjoyed this, uh, if you enjoyed the demonstration I have to start with, definitely leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.